It's the world premiere of Jay Edgar kicking off the 25th annual AFI Fest presented by Audi. And we're catching up with Leonardo DiCaprio, Army Hammer and all the stars right here on the red carpet. Being a part of the AFI is always a good thing. Well, I'm a huge fan of AFI first off and their, and their film preservation work. I'm really, I feel really grateful that we're part of the AFI and that we're opening night of AFI. And I didn't appreciate the, the size of what this is all about until I started coming down Hollywood Boulevard and I realized I'm like at the Cannes Film Festival, but in Los Angeles. It's nice to be back here tonight at the AFI Festival. Audi was so kind to sponsor the event. I love Audis. They're great cars. I love you guys so much. You guys so graciously lent me that R8 Spider, which was... I hate my car now. Like, I, I, I have not driven my car since. I've only ridden my Vespa. But um, my agent called me and was like, dude, they're making a video. You want to be in it? And I was like, yeah. They're like, uh, can they shoot you with your car? And I was like, well, it's not my... Yeah. Yeah, you can. I'm just having a Starbucks on an Audi with Army Hammer. It's all good. So, Audi, you gave me a car and it got in a video. Let's do this again. I'm telling you. Are you uh, selling Audis right now? Yes, we actually have a bunch just in the back here. They are great cars. I'm a German fan of German cars anyway. You're a big fan of you, Clint. Even Lance Black is like to... Stop it. <laughs> I loved my little Audi. It's good. Congratulations on the film. Tell me about the process of writing this. Oh, this started back in 2008, and I heard that Imagine wanted to do a movie about Hoover. I had wanted to do one about him as well, because I don't know that there's a, a figure who's had so much power and influence in this country who we know so little about. All of the biographies I read contradicted each other. Uh, he was so incredibly private about his own life. And I thought, can we crack that? Can we finally crack that? Because I think it's important we know what creates a man like Hoover. To be able to portray a very sort of mysterious, complex character like J. Edgar Hoover and do it with Clint Eastwood was an amazing experience. Two of the greatest actors around, like gorgeous, but too bad I had to wear it in my grandmother's face. <laughs> I love Clint Eastwood. I loved being next to those gorgeous men and uh, really being part of this movie, which has such an important, amazing message. Well, I would like to be involved in culture, and I think there's no more powerful cultural element in America than film. Uh, it expresses ideas, it expresses innovations, and uh, it's emotional. And uh, you can see the excitement in this audience. That's exactly where Audi likes to be, where exciting things are. Having been in the DeLorean, you're somewhat of a car veteran. How was the ride over here? It's beautiful. The A8, fantastic. Like with the interior, like the glowing lights and the V8 still has that good sound. I'm in the back seat, but I felt like I was at a first class international flight. I mean, the, the seat practically reclined into a bed. I had my whole own zip code back there. What did you do back there, Miles? <laughs> What I did was constantly have to field calls and make sure I was looking okay for you. The only, the only, the only bad part about it is that it had to end. 